understand it's time for us to step into our power as a planetary race and not see the borders anymore. Now, I would not be that opposed to a global government if it was set up with a constitution like the U.S. Constitution and an absolute bill of rights. But even then, that's not a guarantee because if people don't defend those rights, if people don't defend their liberties, what good is it? just experienced that okay we just experienced that and in 1913 when the federal reserve took over that's when the train started going the other way and here we are a hundred trillion dollars in debt an absolutely ridiculous number okay it's probably higher who knows okay holographic model of a civilization or a uh, social structure. Do we want to have a monetary system? Do we actually need a monetary system? Because we're the only ones that I'm aware of in our galaxy that still use a monetary system. Okay? In fact, many, many years ago, I had been asked by more nations to put together a short presentation on money. They already knew um, about it, but I, I did the best that I could. And when it was over, Sayas just looked at me and he goes, I don't understand. And I said, well, what do you understand? He says, I don't understand why you have to pay to live on a planet you were born on. Okay? And ladies and gentlemen, that has haunted me ever since. And that little, that just that one little thing takes you completely out of the box, okay? For the first time, you begin to think, well, geez, what would it look like not to have a currency? You know, advanced civilizations, all their needs are taken care of. All of their standard day-to-day -day life needs are met by the government.